Hello NSA student, this is Mr. Hinton with the math department with a frequently asked question from week 27. This is find the area of a trapezoid, leave your answer in simplest radical form. Now simplest radical form means that uh, it's okay to have square roots in your answers. Now that doesn't necessarily come into play every time you're dealing with a problem with those directions so don't let that fool you. Uh, what we need to do to find what we need to know to find the area of a trapezoid is um, everything that's in the formula one half the sum of the two bases that's the average width of the trapezoid times its height and in this particular problem we're given one of the bases and we know the height but we have to find the bottom base uh, in order to uh, finish finding the area of this triangle. Now, in geometry, you always have to pay careful attention to what is given to you. Uh, the most important piece of information, really the only piece of information here that we can use to help us solve this problem is that this is a 45-45-90 triangle. And uh, the picture is not drawn to scale at all, but we know that 45, 45, 90 right triangles are isosceles. So because this side is 8 centimeters, this little piece is also 8 centimeters. That means this piece is 3 centimeters because it's opposite this. This is a square that we have that we're playing with here, and opposite sides of a square are congruent. Uh, or excuse me, a rectangle, not a square. And uh, there you have it. Now we have all the information that we need to solve this one. Um, the area will be equal to 1 half, 3 plus, the bottom is 8 plus 3 plus 2 is 13, and the height is 8, and you can simplify from there. So this is a good example where we see the 45, 45, 90 triangle coming into play. So always pay attention to 45 degree angles, 30 degree angles, 60 degree angles because more often than not your um, special right triangles are going to be uh, in play when you deal with a problem like that. Alright, thanks and have a great day.